Dober Don, Zdravo, good afternoon. This is the Sat Kula clock tower, constructed in the 1830s here in Bitula, the second largest city of North Macedonia and the oldest city of North Macedonia. I'm going to be uh, going to the Roman ruins of Heraclea Licensis, if I'm saying that right, which was constructed in the 4th century BC by none other than King Philip II of Macedon, the father of Alexander the Great. It is about a 30 minute walk. I will be walking along the Sirach Sokok right up here, which is the main uh, walking area and a really nice, pleasant street with lots of restaurants and shops and uh, cafes and whatnot. And also my room where I'm staying is right along the way here. And after I got out here, then I realized that the long pants are too warm. It was raining this morning, so it's been a little bit uh, cool here, but uh, I'm going to stop into my room and grab some shorts and also give you a little room tour. So uh, this is Magnolia Square, the main square in Bitula. And you can see mosques. As I mentioned in previous videos, then North Macedonia is 70% Eastern Orthodox Christian, but about 30% Muslim because of the Ottoman presence here for 500 years in uh, the Balkans until they departed about a century ago. And so here is the Sirak Sokak. And it just goes and goes, and then it turns into a park, and I think that the Roman ruins are basically a straight shot, just straight on down here. So let's go see more of Bitola, a very, very pleasant little city here. And so I have to make a correction because I accidentally said Roman ruins referring to the Heraclea Licensus and of course those weren't Roman. The Roman Empire didn't even exist yet as we know it and so uh, probably the best term would be to call them Macedonian ruins. Philip II was the king of Macedon. All right, so I'm going to clear this up here with some uh, just straight facts. Heraclea Lincestis was an ancient Greek city in Macedon, ruled later by the Romans. Its ruins are situated two kilometers south of the present-day town of Bitola, North Macedonia. It was founded by Philip II of Macedon in the middle of the 4th century BC. And so, they were Greek, they were Macedonian, they were Roman. And I just walked past this little shrine. Christian shrine, obviously. Donations, I guess. Maybe that's what kacha means. Church, St. Maria, Museum, House of the Army. Lots to see in the city. And so I've eaten here twice. Ravenna. Good food. Great service. And fast Wi-Fi. So I will be going back there tonight because I have a video that I need to upload and the Wi-Fi is really slow in my uh, room. Oh, Here's where I'm staying, next to this uh, pharmacy. So a uh, funny random thing is yesterday, when I came back to the gate here, then there was a dog that looked almost just like that dog that was sitting outside the gate right there.
And so this place is $40 a night and has everything you need. Full kitchen, big TV, dining area, private bathroom, separate bedroom, and even a big closet. Certainly you can find cheaper if you're on a budget, but uh, you get what you pay for and pretty good deal for such a nice place here. And as is always the case, it is much more happening in the evening. And it is also quieter, I'm sure, because of COVID. The uh, guy at the uh, restaurant that I mentioned was saying that uh, it's been really quiet here this summer. So the uh, Greek border is just like 10 or 12 kilometers away from here. But unfortunately it is closed. I was thinking about uh, trying to go into Greece from here. But apparently the Greek side has completely closed the border for all non-essential travel. And so the guy was saying that uh, normally they would get a lot of tourists coming up from Greece, crossing over the border and coming here because it's so close. But he's seen almost no international tourists this whole summer. Very communist era looking statue there. They always just look really like rugged in the uh, communist statues. They're always just like these total like workers, you know? Always got to show a little graffiti in my videos. And here is where the walking street continues into a park. But more graffiti over here that looks even better. Gotta go take a look. And thought that I would mention, since I brought up communism, just because there is some confusion about uh, this region and the Soviet Union, North Macedonia here was part of Yugoslavia, a communist country that broke apart in 1991 at basically the exact same time as the Soviet Union. However, Yugoslavia was not at all part of the Soviet Union and it was not even in clear alignment with the USSR. Tito, who is the uh, dictator but beloved apparently by uh, Yugoslavians who ruled over Yugoslavia for decades, was apparently a rival of the Soviet Union and was concerned about the possibility of them being taken over by them. And so it wasn't a uh, ally of the Soviets. And so I got a uh, hot dog at one of these places a couple of nights ago. I've been here for uh, three days now. I think right here. And it was a uh, hot dog, but it was like inside more of a pita kind of a thing with french fries and salad and sauce and 
just all this stuff in there. It was huge and it was 90 Macedonian dinars, which is less than two bucks. So if you are on a budget, then uh, cheap uh, food like that is definitely your best bet. All right, so it should be a uh, straight shot from here down to the Greek Macedonian Roman ruins. So there is a tennis court. Here's a soccer field. And a skate park. Shirak Sokak, that is the walking street here, and biking. And speaking of communist era, these buildings must be from that time period. They do not age well. Getting ready for winter. Meow. So it's a bit of a walk down this road here, but a very nice walk and getting close. Edible. I have no idea. Definitely not going to experiment. Blackberries. Tons of blackberries. But, too late. All right, maybe this is it. Yep, I see ruins. Bravo. Stravo. Right. Double done. Is there a fee? English, yeah. Great. 120 per person. Okay, excellent. How many people are you? Just me. Yeah. Yeah.